this is Ajit Khan and in this tutorial we are going to see how to use dynamic inventory with Ansible so basically the, what dynamic inventory is in Ansible we have host file in which we use to hard code the IPs of the um, instances which we want to manage through Ansible so the use case might appear where we need to have where we have n number of servers and need to manage them through ansible so in that case it's not possible to have uh, all the ips in the host file and there might be a use case where servers comes and goes so we don't really have that which servers at a, uh, at a particular time which server is there which should be listed in the host file so to overcome that problem we can use dynamic inventory in which we can access or we can do stuff on the instances on the basis of some tags and other things so let's get started uh, in this uh, particular tutorial we are going to launch an instance uh, using dynamic inventory so i have written a blog post about the same so you can go through to have the set of commands which needs to be there and how to set up it so basically uh, for the initial setup it requires you to install and set up Ansible and you need to have Boto installed then you need to uh, get the ec2.ini file and ec2.py file so basically uh, one of them is going to serve with the uh, as a host file and this will be used to list all the instances uh, uh, accessing the AWS API and giving you the result. So here you need to make sure that your ec2.py should have hyphen hyphen profile option. As we are going to use profile option as well. So uh, you might not understand it right now but make sure that it is there. And uh, to use this, use latest ec2.py and boto with version greater than or equals to 2.24.0. Now uh, you can copy this and uh, make it executable. So ec2.py would be uh, should be exit executable. So here I have uh, already created it. So here's the ec2.ini file which I have copied from the link mentioned on the blog and uh, regarding ec2.py so i have copied the content inside the host file as i'll be using host file as the default one you can name it like ec2.py as well so here it is and uh, so this is the ec2.py copied into host file and this is ec2.ini file Uh, you should configure the ec2.ini file to work with a particular region as it would reduce the execution time because uh, if it's not mentioned then it will look for the resources in each and every region which is available so it's better to have a region mentioned in the ec2.ini file if uh, you are working in a particular region so uh, you can mention it here regions all for now it's been set to regions all so you can set it to a particular region now change the ansible configuration file to point to ec2.py as the host file so if you are using ec2.py uh, directly as a host file then you need to mention here else it will take the host file for me it's the default one so basically I have not changed anything because I am using the same host file and copied the content over here so it will by default look into host file only else you can change it according to uh, as per your need so if you have uh, say Boto installed and Ansible installed uh, you can list out all the resources with the help of this command ec2.py hyphen hyphen list this will give all the resources but before this you might be wondering about uh, where we have set up our credentials so the credentials will be uh, 
task you have set it up go to and all then uh, it must be there uh, you need to set it up in dot aws credentials file here you can have multiple profile say uh, i have named the profile personal which is for my personal account then there might be some other credentials of xyz and the default one so here i have mentioned all the access key and secret access key so uh, you can set it here so by using profile option we can have uh, uh, the playbook to run for a particular profile so it might correspond to different accounts say uh, this is my personal account and this could be a aws uh, account of some other person so uh, you can differentiate here at profile level so here we have set it up now if we are going to run this command ec2.py hyphen hyphen list uh, as i told you that my uh, ec.py file is in the host file so let's run it up okay so i'm going to run it with the hyphen hyphen list option with hyphen hyphen profile for my personal account and refresh the cache so that you can uh, it does not give me the result from the cache let's run it taking a bit of time so as my personal account uh, which does not have as such any resources so if you go to ec2 dashboard so there are only some key pairs and security groups no running instances nothing so possibly it should give nothing to me yeah here's the result so there's nothing in the account so it gives me blank result let's go ahead So uh, we have got the result, uh, it has listed the resources, since there were no resources, we have got the blank result. But you might get an error name, a region name app south one likely not supported by AWS or AWS is down. For this you need to exclude the region, so in your ec2.ini file, you need to include this region here and you will get rid of this error. And then if you try to run it again, it will give the correct result so uh, that's all about the setup let's go ahead and write the playbook first we are going to define uh, you should be familiar about ansible the directory structure and all so i'm not going to go through the stuff so let's uh, directly set it up so let's go ahead and first define the some variable in all.yml file it groups where directory so here you can uh, set up all your AMI ID, your subnet ID, your region, zone, key pair, security group, blah, blah, blah. And uh, uh, you can provide the volume details. So all the variables, default variables which you need to set, you can set it here. Now let's create a role to launch EC2 instance. So it would be in roles, uh, launch task main.yml. So it will have all your variables in from the all.yml and we, are, we will be adding instance to the host group and uh, wait for the instance to boot so I assume that you are already familiar with the uh, syntax and uh, how to write a playbook if not please go through it then uh, we will be having our main playbook which will be calling this role so uh, we are going to call this role launch which we have seen here so we will be calling this uh, role and we are giving a variable group name uh, possibly we will be giving this from our command line so group name hyphen role name this is going to be the name of the instance so uh, this is all about uh, so you can uh, go through it or alternatively you can uh, directly copy these code and uh, try it out 
now we are going to launch the instance by running this playbook so uh, the point here to note is aws underscore profile so this is we are going to use we are going to say to ansible that use the credential from the profile personal and then launch the playbook and run the playbook and we are providing the group name from here so example so uh, let's go ahead and try it out so uh, just to walk you through the current code so here is the group where's here is my uh, variables which I want to use and here is the role inside role task main dot viable so here uh, you can see we have all the variables set up and fetching from all dot viable we are registering the uh, all the stuff after launching it in the EC2 variable and uh, we will be using that to add items like its public DNS and all and we'll uh, wait for it to uh, boot it up so yeah, that is it and uh, the main launch dot launch instance dot yml is here where we are simply calling the role launch and we are providing the name from here so uh, that's all uh, about the code part and let's go ahead and launch it out so aws profile equals to personal ansible playbook hi, uh, minus i host as host is the uh, dynamic inventory host file which we are using uh, let's change this to sample and let's launch it So as of now you can see in my account that there is only one instance which is already terminated with the same name example role. So here we are launching it with the name sample. After launching this, we will be uh, running this command again to get if uh, it lists out our newly created instance or not. So it's going good. Now it's launching the instance. It's running now, wait for the instance to boot. Let's see if it has been there or not. Here it is. Sample the name which we gave and the role name. So it's t2.micro and it's getting launched. Okay, so we are done with the playbook. Uh, it has created the instance and it's there. Uh, statistic is still initializing. So now we can actually uh, run it again. Our If you don't use the option hyphen hyphen refresh cache you might end up uh, having the old result back because it's not refreshing your cache and simply giving you the result from your cache so if you are eager to see like uh, what has changed then uh, do use hyphen hyphen refresh cache a bit slow but 
one more thing uh, I would like to suggest is that um, I have uh, created already a VPC, a subnet so everything is uh, ready for me here so what you can do is please do have uh, every stuff ready because uh, you might end up that subnet ID not found so all these error you might face so uh, be prepared with that okay so it has given us the result see refresh cache has given us so there is an instance launched here it is here's the details architecture launch index etc blah 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 so every monitoring stuff so it has given us all the details the AMI and uh, what all regions all the key so everything associated with the instance so before this we were not getting this yeah. so that is all from this tutorial hope you like it and if you want to go through all the code base and uh, all the commands I have used please go to my blog that's appichip z-appy.blogspot.in so you can go uh, to this blog and try it out it's cool stuff thanks for watching